ideas on developing international strategy. In today's global economy, any company, really, no matter how large or how small, will one day be faced with the challenge of the international marketplace. This can be entirely disruptive for companies, and my first suggestion really is if you receive an inquiry through the internet or on the phone, is use this as an opportunity to review where you are with your existing business. It may be that opportunities are available in your domestic market, the market that you know intimately, that you haven't really thought about. So the first tip really is if you receive a uh, an inquiry from the international marketplace when this is completely new to you, ignore it and use the time initially to consider what you should be doing in the market that you know best. If you really do believe that there are no significant other opportunities in your domestic market, then make the decision to take international business seriously. By this I mean accept that in the short term and perhaps even in the medium term you won't make any money out of an international venture. Take the opportunity to decide at board level that this is something you wish to do. It shouldn't be third finger of the left hand jumping on a ferry or jumping on the plane and going off and having a look. Make a serious board level decision that this is what you want to do. Once this decision has been put in place, then Find the right people to look after the international marketplace. Don't fall into the trap of promoting your best UK sales manager, but look for somebody who really does understand other cultures, who really has the right sort of track record. This is not just simply an ability to speak the language, important though that this may be, but also really understand different cultures. A quick guide to understanding cultural differences is through a, a Dutch scientist called Hofstetter whose work is readily available on the internet. This uh, is a very good read and helps quickly understand some of the differences that are uh, readily uh, on the international marketplace. If we move on, uh, having made some initial uh, inquiries, etc., then you should be prepared to adapt your product to the international marketplace. If you think that one size fits all, then please think again. The third step should then be to find a distributor. Find someone who knows the other end of the telescope intimately, who knows the market, who can work with you in ensuring that your adapted product fits the international marketplace. If these steps are put in place, then eventually you will develop an appropriate international marketing strategy that will enable you to add over time incremental profits to your business. You will need a lot of intestinal fortitude. It won't be easy, but these steps will help ensure that the international marketplace becomes over time a source of incremental profit for your business. If you require any further information, 
please feel free to get in touch. Thanks very much.